Isbu Kulana I am Fulo. I actually co wrote Amaloya and Puma Gini. When I went to Reliable <laughs> uh, with Palafal, mm. just finished. Okay. Not finalized, but just finished. And I was going in to say, What do you think? I say, Who's this? I said, TKZ. I said, ah, no, that shit is not gonna work. Yeah. Actually, come and take the CDs at the back. <laughs> <laughs> take them. Yeah, I have left. Lochan is charmed. Get this or not. Kulo nach sirachela pami. I'm very impressed with what you're trying to do. Journalists have been asking me what happened between you and Somi. It's a good day to have a happy day. It's Happy Days on Podcast. Right. Welcome to it. Thank you so much for joining us. The name is Rich Twala. Thank you so much, guys. I really want to applaud guys who are continuously doing likewise, you know, subscribing to the to the to this um, uh, channel, and uh, we make sure to bring you the best continent. I mean, the the, the best co content as it may be, you know. So right now we continue because all our guests are special as it as it may be. And in fact, there is a thing that I it is so thing. This so thing pop in the fire. Yeah, but see, uh, 10 times Kulu. So, um, a special show on the Happy Days today. We feature the veteran music promoter, and I call it, let me call him um, a talent scout or talent, a, a person who's got a talent of searching talent out there, you know. So, John Dallas Grover, so for paint him a picture, okay, so you're going to be nine nine, so you're into details about it. But in the day, nine nine, who will see Leo? You promote your music. So it is cafe. I'm gonna find about double HP. Uh, TK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conjure which which album was the the the, the album is Tensa Akula TK? Ah, I I I move along. Remember TK yeah, the Mando, musician. Like we. But there was an Brad album. Mendoza. Yeah. Then and it was Mendoza. Mendoza. We brought. TKZ. TKZ, yes. Uh, we brought uh, Toya De Lazy. Toya, yes. And uh, uh, DJ and Bongs and DJ Bongs. then Zex Bantwini. Yo, yo. So I'm about to see now. And it's a long list. Thank you so much for Smoke for Sack. All of you. around that time. To welcome and officially. And so I tried calling you on the last, the previous episode that we had. Um, I wanted to uh, put you on air because we had uh, General Tata Zonke. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. So he was speaking fondly of you. You know, saying, what what in Jelam Mandoza, what you Mandoza must figure Sister Say Ilona, it is called that must feel who voices Sister Luke Releaser, or two voices was telling I know not, and then one of it, Marmandoza, who was on Champa, was a good Lisa Soul. Not really, but yeah, yeah, I'll take one car. You balance, yeah, you balance is in because you know, sometimes it group works for a certain time, okay, you know. Then we want to cut up and things slow down. Yes. Then, but then we want an opportunity where to, to yeah. extend the brand. Mm -hmm. You can have then one of the members okay. or some of the members. Yeah. You know, like going out individually, and then they can still come back together. Okay. You know, what it does actually, it's almost like a 
an expansion. You know, I mean, let me put it this way, even from a creative point, mm. yeah, you cannot stick to doing one thing forever. Yes. You know? Yes. 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 And then you explore. Yes. So because you learn more things, mm. you meet new people, you try certain things from a music point, yes. you try certain sounds, within the group side. You know, and when some of that is successful, when then again, even my fans, I am I am kumpula. Okay. You know. Yeah. So when you come back again, then. And then back, I'll appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. But also, you are also coming back with fresher ideas mm. because you've been able to try certain things uh, without being too worried. to Good. Hey, my fans. Hey, to asazi ganje. You know, man, you must sit. But sit short left in your na, baso tata tata ganja. You know, so yeah. But uh, I mean, I'm, I worked with Amachita from Triple Nine Days. Mm. Uh, that's where we got to know each other okay. and build our relationship. So I was, I mean, because I was the manager at, at Triple Nine, and I was also with all the artists on the road. You know. So I got to know everyone, you know, okay. from the Abashante to Chiskop, you know, to my late brother and friend, Uma mm. you know, Nabo Superstar, you know, New School, Nabo Ashley, you know. So it was from that part. So when at some point I was recruited uh, to come and start a, la a label, a development label for CCP, which is under EMI, EMI yes. you know, because they already had stars, yes. you know, they had your Brenda Fassi, Atama Fukate, you know, Mam, Mam Rebecca, Malope, um, Ringo Majlingozi, mm. you know, I mean, they had uh, so many mm. um, great yeah. artists, and I mean, I, I take it almost like uh, they had a vision, mm. you know, you're good, you know what, we have these superstars. But if it's not team B, so it's like A team, yeah, team. then the yeah. uh, B team. Yeah. It was a good thing from it, the EP team, you developing is a grower to mm. A team, you know? So it was more for them, uh, they are doing well okay. as CCP at the level, you know, I mean, with the history and all, because they're part of the oldest independent. Uh, South African company mm. because it used CCP stands for Clive Calder okay. Productions. Oh, okay. So it was owned by one major guy called Clive Calder, who's South African. Started and had, CCP. And had had you. No, no, no. That was before my time. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. The, by the time Brenda released Weekend Special, mm. actually Clive Calder, uh, I mean, discovered people like your Jonathan Butler. Oh, okay. uh, he had about Richard John Smith, um, you know, a lot of great mm. bands, mm. even Blondie Machene as a soloist, you know. Um, so, so he started CCP, okay. and um, I think when EMI came into South Africa, they needed to have a South African uh, kind of footing, mm. all right? So they saw CCP, I think, as a good company, South African label that they can buy, you know? So they bought CCP. I mean, Clive Calder is the guy who started Zomba Records. Okay. So Abu Arkeli, mm. I mean, he's one of the biggest. He's just an undercover, quiet guy, mm. you know? Mm. Mm. But he's one of the biggest in the music industry. Mm. I mean, Abu Pili Ocean, if you look at... Um, uh, uh, that's how Jonathan Butler ended up he overseas. starting a career yeah. overseas yeah. because uh, Clive, when, when Clive left South Africa after about, about 10 ACCP, we, you know, he went, I think, to London first where he started his record label, Watata no Praka, who's originally yes. from a, like basically, Begatala Etube. And um, but one of the most successful s 
producers and engineers, you know, and he was blind. So you can imagine yeah. when a blind person, you know, outshines yeah. even the people who can see on yeah. it, when it comes to producing, mixing and all it's of always that. The case, though. You know? <laughs> so that's a that's the guy who kind of discovered Brenda Fassi. But that's yeah. a guy who signed Brenda and they did uh, weekend special. Oh. With the big dudes. With the big dudes. Okay. Yeah. But um, just, tra legend. just tracking legends. back from your profile, yeah. um, where you're coming from, and uh, Vusilio, but why Vusilio? So where is this coming from? Look, um, I I normally say, uh, you know, I'm 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 an example, uh, or my surname is an example of the fact that. Jan van Riebeck and his notorious gangsters <laughs> landed yeah. in the Cape okay. and they started colonizing, colonizing and messing up yeah. <laughs> uh, our people, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, so besides that we are closer, but uh, that's where the surname comes from. Okay. It's, it's Dutch. Oh, it's, it's Dutch. It's Leo. Yeah. Remember, Africans is a, is a, is a pigeon. A maybe pidgin language yes, that yes. comes from Dutch. Dutch, yes. You know, yeah. so the the my the way you spell my surname, it's how lion is spelled in 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 in, oh, in, yes. in a Dutch language. Okay. Okay. But in Africans they drop the W. Okay. Because they borrowed from. Oh yeah. Dutch. Okay. So. But otherwise, in my la em fulo, my. <laughs> My, but let me say that my grandfather, uh, maternal grandfather, mm. um, came from Eastern Cape, I think, their family, back, back, back in the days, you know. Okay. He grew up in Sophia Town. Mm. I think that's where he met my maternal grandmother, Bashata, mm. uh, and then uh, one of the results of out of the, uh, I think about four or five kids, because unfortunately some of my uncles passed away at a very young age, you okay. know? Um, so my my mother was the only girl. So, yeah. Okay. So, and so I'm, a, I come from a single parent, mm, you know, mm, family. Mm, mm, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've given you. Yeah, yeah, you've given uh, you. And and to tell you, the uh, exclusive. Not not that I'm saying I want to have a over about halalisi, but you can actually check in most cases during those times in our times. Yeah. You know, um, a generation age. Most of the time, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a time I woke up, I'm a old lady, I'm a she, a old lady, I'm a lady, strong. But look at how we've just become. Exactly. You know? Yeah, exactly. the product I'm a old lady. For sure. Pro, product in Bogot. In Bogot. That's my chance. In Bogot. Yeah, so, yeah. So, when I'm uh, um, looking at um, where you started, because I know it all began um, at, um, um, it's called uh, the voice of uh, Vets. I know okay. the radio station yeah. in, uh, in Vets uh, University. Yeah. And you had a show there, yeah. the African, um, African flame. Flames. How do you know that? It's, it's, it's all fires. I'm on radio, man. How do I, I uh, know everything about radio stuff. I think to that. Because, <laughs> okay, uh, let's say halal. Exactly. Like halal. Uh, yeah, no, because yeah. I think then your, your research is on top, yeah, on yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming uh, you're the up, very first person, one, okay. to know that I was on radio, that yeah, I was yeah. on the mic. <laughs> but uh, the way you come in a corner, I tell you, I was on the radio. Yeah, so, but before Voice of Vids, yeah. okay, maybe let me not go too back, you know, okay. but I must say that when Soweto Community Radio started, yeah. I was one of the early people, part of the team, oh, even okay. before they went on air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's where I met um, uh, uh, um, most of the guys, like Abompo, Dennis actually, yeah, and about Dennis, mm -hmm. although some came after me. Mm -hmm. But I think because of my exposure to radio at, 
on campus at VETS, you know, being part of a station as a cast, mm. for me, made sense. Okay. Yeah, well, because it was learning from that side, come this side to try and mm. assist, mm. Mm. you know. So going to, um, just to cut you there shortly, yeah. uh, going to a voice of um, VETS, yeah. you were interested to, be, to become, you wanted to, to become a presenter, no. station manager? No. He's a promoter, like no. I was, I was, I was at Vets doing law. Oh, you were studying. I was studying. Yeah. So just so back, to back in the day, Voice of Vets was not like today. Okay. Where it's, it's now, I think almost still owned by Vets University, but a bit independent. Mm. And anyone, I think, I'm told today can join the station. Yeah. Oh, out uh, from at, outside. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, back then, it was exclusively for students. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. so, that so is that's why, how I. Yeah, so that's why that is why I'm saying because when you you came in there just to um, study law, you know. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that you came to study law. I knew that though that you came in to study something. Yeah. You know, and uh, <laughs> the radio thing was just an extension because I went to say university, shama yeah. around, say campus, tra studio. For sure. I told you, I can imagine morning studio in university. Tra yo, like come the come the radio, the radio station, yo radio station, you know, the radio station. So yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. You'd always be interested. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. So you went in there. I went in there and you know um, that has a, a bigger link as well to me somehow end up being in the music industry okay. right besides that I've, I was born within that environment mm. which I'll explain but um, when I got to Vets uh, now I've, I have a show African Flames I'm pushing African music mm. You know, from Salif Keita yeah, to yeah, Mami yeah, Von Chaka yeah. Chaka. You saw no. You saw What was that guy's name? Uh, uh, Monte Carre. What was that? He had a song called Yek Yeke Yeke, I think. Yeke you know? Yeke. Oh, yeah. You know? Um, uh, it's a very disappointing that we, we forget <laughs> yeah, African shows. Afri you know? <laughs> so, so, like, I mean, but I mean, um, one challenge that I had was there was not enough what I'll call black music okay. on the station. Okay. Uh, yes, it was largely white station mm. uh, because the majority of the students, you know, were white. Mm. Uh, so the compilers in the past were largely white. Okay. Yes. You know, probably I was maybe one of the first compilers or sorry librarians mm. you know so I then had a, a challenge of the fact that ah must see station but how come we don't have Nas as a Yingo Miss Shisa yeah how come yeah. we don't have you know mm. and uh, the station manager at that time uh, Umak um, he's a lawyer in the entertainment business uh, now as well um, he was like no Vusi, no problem you know, we have a, a person who goes to red record companies, you know, okay. every whatever, you know, that's when they call, they mm. go and collect music, you know, mm. maybe you should be part of the library, of the library team. And when they go out, you will know better what music is needed so you can then start collecting. Mm. So that's how uh, one of the role that I played in kind of uplifting Okay. The library, yes, a, yes, a voice of vets, mm. you know, with most African and South African music, it was from that position, mm. and um, and 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 I mean, I brought in Abu Mami Vaughan for the first time. I brought in especially black artists mm. onto vets campus. Okay. So I brought in uh, amongst them. It was Mami Vaughan. It was Mzakembuli. Uh, mm. It was uh, uh, KMZ Kamazu, mm. you know. And later, you know, then Kwaito was starting. Okay. And brought in Nabo Arthur. Yeah. Nabo Chonina, yeah. Yeah. you know, on campus. Yeah. So roughly, and but like something which I think in J, a man in the streets, when they look at music, Especially back then in the 80s, 
you know, ichiko pass Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, but when I, I don't know from my side, mm. I never, I don't know why, I never thought there were record companies okay. behind them. Oh, you, so you, I thought they were like independent. They were like singing for themselves. No, doing yeah, everything. doing things yeah, for themselves, yeah. you know. I, it never registered. Because there is someone behind everything. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and funny enough, then my neighbor, uh, so music has been around me, you know. It's lovely, you next to us, it's lovely. Uh, they were related to one of the music legends called Valanze Mande. Valanze Mande. There was a, even a song. Okay. That I, went, I think Valanze I know the song. Mande. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> when we were growing so, up back <laughs> as kids. So, so, so we never actually tell uh, Valanze Mande. A relative. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, was our neighbor. Oh, okay. But he came all the time. Yeah. yeah so it could be yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yes. sometimes they pack in a car, yeah. you know? So yeah, when you find out now, I mean, ni ni ni, po 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 promoter music promoters events uh, promoters you mm. know bands are my show uh, and they played a huge role even politically mm. you know um, uh, let me put it this way you know some of part of the role the music played some of the music promoters like uh, they were able to smuggle Amajita okay. from South Africa Mm. to help them cross borders to Swaziland or Botswana, mm. you know, because mm. they are like, no, some are musicians, we're going to do a show mm. in Swaziland, you know? Okay. So everyone in the Kumbi is seen as a musician. Yeah. Yeah. When some hey. some yeah. are yeah. Yeah. you know? So these are the things probably that are, I never told mm. about mm the role of music, just besides singing, you know, how even our messages, you know, from outside would come into South Africa mm. through artists, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Since, so, since, since it actually comes very clear to me, Uti, Umkulo plays a huge role during uh, yeah, about day time. No, know? for sure. Because obviously when you're going to say, all right, I saw Kulo was in Vianat, same time, same time. So my colleagues are like, "This is just a struggle." Yeah, you know? yeah. So no, that's how shows. some guys went into. That's how they went. They left the country into exile, mm. going into exile. Mm. Mm. That's yeah. that is so true. That was yeah. one of the the ways. role of music in South Africa. Music and and music promoters. And music promoters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And another person then that used to pass by is a line next door. Mm. Ne? Okay. It's a magazine. Zane. Sibik. Oh, oh, Mahuta. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, he had a big song now back then um, uh, called, uh, I'll remember it for mm, now. Mm, yeah, mm, but Tita mm. Malgazin was one of the big artists back okay. then. Yeah. yeah. He but was uh, Saitana, he was known as Saitana. Saitana, yeah. Yeah. They got from the middle of line of five. Okay. Yeah. But so he, I mean, he used to walk. So when he born, uh, Magazine, you know, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes a pretty guitar. Yeah. I mean, look, probably I was like six, seven years old yeah. at that time. To even notice. <laughs> no, it's a little bit of a Yeah, it's but then I don't know how I got to know to Saitana. Yeah. Then everybody was like, I'm Saitana. And <laughs> his song was also big on radio at that yeah. time, you know. So, yeah. So did you uh, manage to finish your course um, yeah, at the... I finished, the, but the, yeah, I finished, but uh, um, I also, because I was also majoring in politics. Okay. Uh, one of my majors as well was politics and industrial sociology. Mm. So the, the intent was after my uh, first degree was then to do LLP. 
but he quite okay. He got to the coward. So when I was supposed to go do my post grad mm. after the graduate after graduation, uh, I then during my last year, around September November, E Sony mm. came into South Africa. Yeah. And the land, 1995 fish. Somewhere, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Ulindelani was the was head, head, heading in the local division. He okay. was tasked to start the local division. So a friend of mine, Tabi, so told me, but no, son is here. Uh, we're all encompassing. Mm. And he told me, but you know, but he prayako Ulindelani. Mm. He's heading that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were friends because the city a song. We got some chico at some point. Okay. So, so we met again. 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 We met so yeah. it was nice Zio. because we met again. We met like everyone, I yeah. mean, I mean, about Oskido, mm. I mean, the clubs were there, mm. you know, mm. and you didn't need to have a car. Yeah, you totally walk. Yeah, but when I was in the show, 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 I was in the to promote them at Tabini and stuff like mm -hmm. that. That's how we kind of got to know each other. Oh, okay. But at that time, I was with the sta radio station. Mm. But uh, as yeah, I was also a DJ. Yeah? Oh, you were a DJ? Yeah, being, being mixer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, being mixer. Yeah, no, being mixer. Yeah, no, being mixer. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> on, 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 mixer. on campus, we <laughs> see. I mean, besides so, I mean, besides playing for having the radio show. Mm. Uh, Guma Pesh as a, as a campus in, okay. you know, we were part of the DJs. I'm fine, I'm shy. Not a marsh, you're not a marsh. In the in the Veda. In the Veda. In the Veda. You know, so, I mean, okay. we were competing with our sisters. Our hmm. sisters, maybe say, Vets Tech, yeah. you know, which is UJ now, part hmm. of the UJ uh, campus. Yeah. Uh, so Bebe Vets Tech, they used to have a radio station, a campus radio there, okay. which the equipment disappeared. <laughs> and that's how, <laughs> and that's how yeah. it closed. So from a radio to radio station part, that, the, you know, that's how Abu Fistas would also come and play a, a Vets, Varsity. Okay. You know, Nati would go that side. So Big Nama Pesh, I mean, that time, at some point, Abu Kalawa, Kalawa was called Bad News Productions. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Before it was Kalawa, it was oh. Bad News Productions. Um, so um, it was also featuring the likes of um, the Don Laga. Oskido. Don Laga and Christos. Uh, Christos. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not busy. But when uh, from there, okay. So so, so you, as a student. So we have to leave the radio station to approach the Dalan Kids. No, no, no. Um, it was towards my final year. Okay. And at that time, Voice of It was only active during um, when campus was on, okay. during school yeah, 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 yeah. time. Yeah. And, and, and it was not on, on, online. Okay. At the it time. It was just broadcasting. It was for the campus, yeah. The yeah, yeah. The camp, yeah, the yeah. campus. Um, so, so, yeah, so it wasn't. Conflicting per se. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, so I then spoke to Lindelani uh, for an internship. Yes. Uh, and uh, he was like, no, look, Sakala, but Mokata uh, Maxamako, Mazwakala, but you must know we don't have budgets to employ people yet. Mm. All right? And I said, no, no problem. Yeah, okay, no, two voluntary basis. Yeah, yeah, on voluntary basis mm. I can come, you know, I mean, uh, which is part of, I think, important stories that we need to share, mm. especially for EU Tianam Tlanje, because every, today, most of young people, 
they always want to be paid. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, we are hungry to see that we need. Yeah. <laughs> No, why do we have to go out, outside and, and source a person? Here's a person who's been here. And and the position. Yeah, the position. Mark Vilega, my position yeah. here inside already. That's true. You know, Nama budget, my figure, Amasha. You are inside, mm. so you are able to. You know. Mm. Uh, so so basically, that year, I went to after my exam, I went to do internship at Amazon. Okay. And this is when uh, the first artist at Sony local was Family Factory. Okay. You were still um, also doing the very same job as uh, A&R? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Was, not, not yet. No. You were just uh, a student. Actually, was... maybe at that time I wasn't even aware of it with A&R. <laughs> <laughs> maybe as yes, talent yeah. scout. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but I, 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 was, I was not specific, you know. Okay. Um, I went in and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the fact that I was a music producer as well, okay. on my own, yeah. uh, 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 you know, and then I later teamed up Nom, Nom Jigs, okay. uh, Nom, Nom Jigs Nom Tebe. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Produced the Bontando, mm. he was a co-producer, no, no, team, no, no, Robi, Malik. Okay. Bontando, Abu Kelly, Abu, yeah. um, Zahara, you know, mm, mm. so we, we, uh, we as friends we became pr a production team, yeah, yeah. but they see one, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I had finished his engineering a, a vet tech, uh, and I had finished um, my degree mm. a, 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 a vets, uh, yeah. So we started doing music okay. while waiting for. Hispanic, yeah, it was other just things. the labor of love, something out no, of Yeah, love. it was something that no, that was always with us mm -hmm. as kids. I mean, you know, I don't want to be everywhere, but I mean, Upra Tapelo Homo will tell you, you know, yeah, Westimela, when he was producing Ukamazu as well, because he's, he was the main producer of mm -hmm. You know, Bengi wanted into an Asian Kupanga Makaset. <laughs> Let her eat them. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 Anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of music genre at that time? Uh, look, I, I was on. Uh, I'd like to call it Afro pop, and, oh. and uh, because I don't think I want to promote the word bubble gum, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it yeah. was a derogatory. Yeah, it was. To try and put mm. put our music down yeah, as yeah. black people, you know. But I mean, that was the music of the day, mm. you know. Abuchi, uh, Kobo, Brenda. You know, Kamazu. Mm, mm, mm. But we listened to everything, including Stimela, Harari, you know, so so it was from the image oh, of yes. Valencia, Ava, yeah, you know, <laughs> Benjamin Tube, the last, a chama. As we're giving away our age, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, yeah, come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so basically, um, when I was at Sony, this is when Family Factory. Mm. Was signed. Uh, yeah. Umdu was already also has, signed there. Hope in this world. Yeah, have faith. Yeah. Have yeah. faith. Yeah. Yeah. God, I have uh, faith. I those songs, man. Hey. Yeah. As feel about to umza lwa lwa sumza lwa. Umza lwa lomba muri. When dim selebu. When dim selebu. Yeah. As we are shy That same year, that was a, a a debut. Yeah, but she had a debut album. Okay. Uh, that yeah, that same year, and the song she was also featured on. Uh, the doctor, Doctor Kumalo Pop Mabena. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I'll get funk at that song. Yeah, she was. She it? was a vocalist. She yeah, was a she vocalist. Was doing then. the 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 female vocalist. Everybody, yeah. that's the one. Come on, oh yeah. man, her soul rests in peace. Of the Especially best, for that particular song. Yeah, one yeah. of the best yeah, one voices of the best. in the in, that we had in the country. Oh, you know, when so, you silly. Yeah, and she or, or also I think came from Sar Sarafina. Before oh, from <laughs> Sarafina, I think so. Yeah, uh, because I, was I think at some point she was with Sarafina. There was a time I was thinking she also was part of um, the the group that always always uh, release on uh, uh, Good Fridays. Which one was it? The, the Sony uh, Gospel Group Gospel Drive. No, it's, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, because, yeah, there's, uh, because remember, because of, of, of groups. Because of Family Factory, yeah, family know, they, were, yeah, they were gospel, so they, were, they had that, yeah. Okay. Although, I mean, her solo album was not gospel, yeah. you know. Uh, it was, um, 
Afro pop, not jazz. Mm. I know people mix up and just call certain things, certain <laughs> genres or music they hear and say jazz mm. because it's soulful. Okay. So maybe let's say Afro soul. Afro, Afro soul yeah. Uh, so African can you paint soul. a picture of us now? Tell me what if you are a promoter, music promoter, ne? and then you are an office. Let's say you, like the way you were working with the Sony. So a musician will write will, will write music, will write their own song. Yeah. And then um, what happens? Can just tell us to uh, uh, until the master ma, master copy uh, release. Right? So, so let's uh, say what is the process? Let's say because at that time I was not A and R. I was okay. just marketing. Okay. Uh, Bignosis Vicky, who was the head of market, marketing at Sony, and um, so my internship was under the marketing division. Okay. So I was groomed by Mrs. Vicky. Okay. And um, Vicky so, Villagas. No, no, no. Vicky. <laughs> Vicky was I, from. I think I know. She, she was from. Yeah, because she was the person who was handling all the promotions. Yeah, I think I know. That's the Sony. Yeah. You know. Um, so. So with this is Vicky, then we'll go out. I mean, my Champlain was being launched as yeah, well. And yeah. um, Do Why You For Me album yes. was being launched. So you'd have, I mean, when you had Josie FM, so we to a community radio yeah, back then, time, yeah. you'd have met this is Vicky because yeah, that would be the I person so. who, are, who arranges and organizes all of those mm, marketing, mm. you know. Yeah. Not where this is from, this is Vicky. You guys need to give us at least three copies. The wife for me. No, no, no. We are scratching a man. Ni ni ni. Ni la kama siti. Yes, yes, ah. Ni 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 ni. Ni ni ni. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 that's the way things were yeah. you know, at that time. Yeah. You tell me, nah, you don't think I'm shy, siti. Oh, fun go comic. Yeah, fun go comic. I remember one day there was one time the way Amati Tia said to the family, "We strong to move along a corner." Amati Tia, we see see the gakul. There was a time where by station manager at that time was Chepo Mahang. Yeah. Mahang yeah. dedicated one particular day to go visit our home. <laughs> I was in class. So to yeah, go check. Joseph M. Stika, Baba. Because I. You know, colleagues. Oh, you know, I'm going to let Joseph M. Stika. Exactly. I'm going to take a mistake. Okay, sure. Sure. Johnny, you know, colleagues. We said it. Yeah. Yeah, it was just yeah. during those times. Oh, we stole it. Yeah. So we, so we did that. So my, I think my landing in mm. the business was also great. I mean, <laughs> Besides working with greats like Abulin Delani, yeah. I mean, to start at, at a level where you are promoting Do's, Why You For Me mm. album, you, 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 you promoting a groundbreaking album like Ima Champlain, yeah. you know? Um, uh, then you have a Wendy Msele, mm. yeah. and you have Joya, not Joyas, um, Family Factory, yeah. which later. Yeah, members for became joyous, yeah. you know. So I mean, you can then imagine me in Duana, hmm. you know, and there's Lengo Mazangen, you know, Mangen and Awe Mapati, Kali Nambaye, and it's from Otai, you know. So it was that's how I was um, kind of introduced to the formal side of the music business, hmm. and um, yeah, then after that. Uh, I went in, like went to Triple Nine uh, to manage. Uh, I was recruited by Arthur. Okay. Uh, our relationship, like I said, it started partly vets, but during that time, Boma ninety five, four ninety five. Mm -hmm. If you are Kumbula, they just cut some street bash. So me and my brawami, we did a street bash like that. Okay. You know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Samo yeah. uh, our DJ and his supplier sound was uh, Utemba, who became known as DJ Walker. Oh, yeah, okay, you know, I SOS mean, I'm phone in on Sound of Soweto, you know, mm. uh, yeah, so, so that's what I'm just what I'm dropping is. Without me planning my life, mm. you know, things yeah. somewhere where one or the other, unkulu unkulu la pang angi everything was, you know. Uh, mm. I mean, while at, vo at Voice of Vets, um, I was joined by Leo Mane, 
who later work with Black work Chile. became um, uh, com programs manager and pro I think oh, compiler yeah, for Mane. yeah for YFM. For YFM. You know, later yeah. he, he became the head of SAPC One. Mm. You know. And later trace and I won't say where he is now. Now you, know? <laughs> you need to say for yourself. <laughs> uh, and and I mean Tabiso who later got married to DJ Fresh. Mm. We were, were all on campus Nabo Tandi so Okay. Uh, Nabo Temba. You know, remember the group Jack Knife? Jack Knife. You know? So we're all students. <laughs> <around the time. laughs> yeah. So we're all students at that time, yeah. studying towards not music, okay. you know, uh, towards different careers, mm, mm, and mm. Uh, but to them, music founders. Okay. Uh, Abu is what they used to do. They used to go to Kalawa, mm, you know, mm. during school days, you know, okay. maybe after school or whatever. Then they started doing a map kings, mm. uh, recordings, the color. Then later, and that's how Bongo Muffin got started, stuff like that. So, mm. so, 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 so that journey. So I, after my graduation, because as soon you remember, it was a, a three months internship, mm. which mm. ended in December. So from Jam, Ben Lazin, Miss Panela Num Jakes, you know. Mm. I uh, got a call from Arthur, what are you busy with? I'm like, ah, I'm busy, uh, I'm trying to apply because I wanted to do, like I said, I was supposed to go to my LLB, yeah. but at the same time there was another course in, uh, in, 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 in uh, management, if, if, if it's business school, you know. Okay. Uh, that had to do with government, mm. you know, that I was thinking of going to do at the same time. Okay. So I was in, in undecided mm. whether mm. do I carry on LLP or I go um, and pursue and go into yeah. government, mm. you know. Okay. Uh, so then he said, uh, I'd, let's have a meeting. I went to him, a pro, we had a meeting and he said, I'd like you to help me, you know. I think you have what it takes, mm. you know. I'm looking for a manager for Triple Nine. So I started working at Triple Nine, which was for me, uh, you know, Radio's got Radio Pop mm. as a training, you know, yes. the kind of quality yes, of yes, 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 people yes. who started at Radio yeah, Pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, Triple Nine yes, 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 was the school of excellence. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can, you can check, you know, the late Papa Rampa Umpo, you can check the guys who worked at Triple Nine, mm. even from a marketing point okay. and PR management. They 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 went into major mm. record labels, mm. and they played a huge role even in other spaces. So you know, really marketing so and all of that. Mm. So I was basically then trained at Triple Nine. I I was doing a job at Vanda by Five. Mm. You know, I was a label manager. Mm. I was the overall company yeah. manager. I was the head of marketing. I was a road manager. I was a booking agent. <laughs> so from Monday, exactly. everything. So from Monday to Friday, yeah. uh, I'm 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 in I'm a businessman. Okay. Uh, I'm going to meetings with about EMI. Yeah about our, our artists and the products that are coming, you okay. know, at the same time, people are in studio, you know, I'm checking what's mm. going on there, we're starting to plan no art, uh, what is what, what's going to happen, we have tours, promo, promo tours mm. that have to happen at the same time, you know, yeah. so, my bookings. Yeah. so Friday around four, mm. uh, I'm not going home. Yeah. I'm going maybe in the Abashante, maybe they are booked in the Popo. So four, maybe they've got a kick at eight. <laughs> so maybe we've got a kick at the Popo at eight. Yeah. All right. That means I'm saying we have things will change. So I'm going I'm going to send Peter my bag, and I might only come back Sunday, Monday. I'm back at office again, uh, being a uh, 
a suit man. A suit and, man, you yeah. Know? But so, how was it like to work with Triple Nine and just um, uh, maybe according to uh, per artist, like I'll mention Mackenzie's, Mackenzie's, um, the Fatsi Lane. Yeah. Uh, Look, I think working at Triple Nine, like I say, it was a family, you know, um, and like for example, Mark Kenters was not only an artist. Mm. He was one of the administrators at Triple Nine. Okay. So now, nah, yeah, during the week, he's running certain things in the company. Okay. Uh, later, your performer is Mark Kenters, the artist. Mm. You know, he's actually also ensuring that transport mm. is mm. ready, proper for artists who are going to different directions. Mm. So, so then you had I mean, about Queen, who were uh, full-time artists, uh, but I mean, in the studio, Nabo Aba, you know, like, it, look, it was being in a very creative environment, mm. you know, so you, like really in the music house, mm. you know, because our office, it was the office, not a studio, mm. <laughs> you know, so, na the lounge, uh, I'm an artist, I have So it was, and I, and I think there were two flats. Mm. Another flat was for accommodation for artists as well. Mm. So, so you, you enjoyed it for nine? Uh, look, I, 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 I enjoyed and I learned a lot. Like mm. I say, it was like being thrown in the deep end, mm. you know, mm. and say swim, mm. you know. And by learning all these different roles that people do, it made me who I am because mm. like you can if I'm bringing you an artist if you can't market it I will do it myself mm. I'm, I'm respecting you because you've been employed to market mm. all right but if you if you don't want to or if you don't know how I'll even do the, the plan for you mm. let me give an example WHP okay. when I signed him at EMI at some point, uh, they, they, when I left, I left EMI for, I was recruited by uh, Prime Media well, Music. Yeah, okay. All right. So when I left, obviously I leave the people that are signed because they're signed to the company. Mm -hmm. But they didn't know what to do with him. They felt the music, long and short, they thought I, this thing is not going to work. Mm -hmm. All right. Even our salesperson at the director at the time was like, we're wasting our time here, you know? Mm. And I had to go and, and to the, to the, to about reliable, mm. you know, to trade, you mm. know, to try and do the same mm. myself. Mm. Because if you don't know how to talk to, to the buyers, and if you, you know, if you're not feeling this yeah, product then, then yeah. yes you're gonna come back and say this doesn't work mm. you know mm. so uh, but look long story short they they got rid of him okay. they released him okay. and uh, on the other side a uh, prime media that's where i signed cabello he did his solo which mm, resulted to pansula for life mm. as a debut album there were, I, I had i was back again with the guys from TKZ, Tukulo was there. I signed Danny K there. Um, I did start, I, I did Speedy solo album mm. there. So, you know, so while I was there, and when they let him go, they said Prime Media had problems. Okay. And they were deciding that they are not a music company. They are more of a media oh, company. Yes. So they were the shareholders were deciding not to continue their investment mm, in music, music yeah. all right so like like i say for me i've never controlled my life god has been there mm, mm. i get a call from my former boss sean watson a emi okay. to say we want you back <laughs> At the time, couldn't have problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was shutting down. Yeah, all right. Then it's like, oh, co what a coincidence, you know? Mm. Uh, this site is shutting down. I was maybe not gonna have a job, mm. but now I'm getting a call, you know? Mm. So I went back. When I went back, that I found that they they released Jabba from his contract. Okay. 
And I was like, part of my condition of coming back is if you're gonna allow me to come back with Jabba. With Jabba, yeah. All right, I go to Jabba. Jabba has already done a song. Yeah. Uh, but in a song that was dissing EMI. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, with the lines. Linkubileki sakara, lari hip hop sakara, you know? And, and he says, nah, Fusi, but then, how, how am I gonna go back? I mean, I'm teasing these guys. Yeah. I'm saying, good, we're gonna release the song. The very song. The same in, song. Within the same Within the same people. <laughs> You're not lying. You're telling, you're the, telling truth. the truth. That's yeah. what they did. Yeah. So let's go. We went back. And I said, so that next time you don't have problems, start a label. That's how we started Baby, Baby Fat. Fat yeah. Started Baby Fat Records. I said, register a, a company, start your own label. When you go back, I'm not going to sign you as an artist. I'll sign you as a label mm. so that you own your masters. And if tomorrow I leave, then you, you, you know it. that yeah. you, can live, you can live with your masters yeah. whenever. Mm. All right? So... Basically, that's how I went back, and that's how me and Java okay. got back together again. And we did later fast track with the Harambe, mm. and kind of blew up. Mm. So, the process back to your question of when somebody comes into a record label mm. and they're looking for a deal. So, you I normally say to artists send a minimum of two songs mm. a maximum of three songs okay. to the company yeah. to the A&R person or A&R department because I mean you can imagine how many demos we receive mm. you know of people who want to be signed mm. and you're not gonna listen to a, a 10 track album oh, of no. one artist yeah. you yeah. know and at the same time you know with music uh, 90 percent of the time i'm saying 90 percent because you can never be 100 percent perfect mm -hmm. all right 90 mm -hmm. percent of the time you know whether this person's got what it That's takes true. or not you know mm -hmm. and sometimes you can have one song and you hear oh this guy he's got what it takes uh, but what if it's a fluke mm -hmm. like that one luck you know mm -hmm. that one yeah, song? yeah 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 one one, one yeah. song one. H hence people talk about one hit one <laughs> yeah. you know so you want to listen to another song so that you can then verify yeah, and judge. Yeah. Okay, no, what he's doing on the first yeah. track is it real? It's not a chance. Yeah. You know, he really got, got yeah. something. Okay. But also it might be a different song from the first one. So you can pick up the artist's ability, mm. you know, in terms of their talent. Okay. And you know, okay, so the expander on the who's talented, who can go up to this far mm. and if I was to bring in producers or songwriters to help him these are the kind of people I would put as a team for you mm, to help me out. so once we've received the, the, the demos we listen and um, if we like your songs and and people must put their details you know how many times you have someone who sent you a good song they didn't put their name. So how are we going? So you don't know who this person is. Ish. Like you hope and some people never come back. Ish. Why? Because probably they left one lago where yeah, they went to another yeah, company. Yeah. They went, you know. Now yeah. now you're sitting with this great song. Ish. Uh, you end up hoping good, you know, maybe in the next week, in the next month, this and person will come back and maybe will say, Is this had. you? <laughs> exactly. And you find that somebody says they never got a deal in their lives. Can't you know it was them? They never the put any details. But it has can't ever be happened, Mafusana, you are given a demo to listen to and then you say, no, this is just a fluke or this is not good or this is not mainly look, for no, us. Look, and on. then you end up next week or next month, yeah, shy BMG. Yeah, look, um, well, I think one of my mentors, uh, Dave Thompson, who um, was my boss at BMG, that's where I worked on TKZ. Mm. Uh, I was recruited by TKZ <laughs> to go work for it's BMG. Nabo, 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 Sbu, the Sbu brought the Nedla in, you know, in food. Okay. Uh, that time I was working for Art. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. 
a triple nine. So that's how I know. That's how I know triple nine. So, 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 um, Dave said to me, like, my early days, like, less than six, six months working at BMG, you know? He said, you know, Vusi, one thing that I work or I believe in is you, there's so much talent, but it doesn't mean that each and every talent is meant for you mm. to work with. Okay. All right? So sometimes if you don't sign an artist, don't feel bad mm. because you might find that what you are going to achieve with that artist working with you is far less than what they were going yeah, to achieve minimal, yeah. being signed somewhere else, somewhere else. you know yeah. so in terms of answering have you ever missed an artist so many uh not on my side not many oh, oh, not, not many, not but many. You can, can you mention one but, or as much as you not or you're going to record label but ish uh, look, I don't, for my side, I don't think I have, you know? The, yeah, the no only, one. yeah, no one. The only partly regret hmm. in, that could be closer to the question yeah. is being beaten okay. on signing an artist. Or oh, you were beaten by another label. Another label, label. label yeah. yeah. Okay. One of the men, oh, one of them was Squatter Camp. Oh, it's the group Squatter Camp. The entire group. The entire group. I even, I was competing with Carlo, Usiposton. Mm, 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 mm. All right? <laughs> I even, was told I even I, went to... I was told they gave you the ratings. Blind, I get to, <laughs> ended up signing them. I mean, I even went hey, to Sia's place where they were recording. I spent a, a day with the guys in the bedroom studio. Yeah. You know, trying to no, convince never mind. them. I will talk to Sugar about <laughs> Trying to convince them <laughs> uh, <laughs> to sign. Ah, uh, next thing, Amachita, you know, went to Galo. You know, mm. I mean, it worked for them as well. You know, I so I don't, I don't regret. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, well, yeah, but I, look, I, that's why I, I say mm. that 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 thing that I was taught would never feel bad yes. because maybe go, you know, might they be. might have not yeah. blown up. The way, the way they blow up yeah. somewhere else. Everything you know? has got its own yes. reason. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we still, we've always been friends, mm. you know? Mm. I mean, but I was happy because then I was able to sign Flava and do Flava solo album <laughs> after. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had a, a, a slice of, uh, yeah. of, of the squatter. It's <laughs> Zenke <laughs> Liwa. It's Zenke Liwa. Yeah, the I had, care. Exactly. I had <laughs> Zenke Liwa and Om Kuko Liwa yeah. coming this side. You know? Yeah. Look, I think I think as an NR, mm. you also uh, and I'm just grateful because number one, I've never applied for a job mm. uh, except asking for an internship from Sony. But after that, I've never applied for a job. I was recruited, mm. uh, so I had a a bit of freedom, mm. you know. Uh, because I was, you, you are the one who's recruiting me. Yes. So if you want me to come, you must allow me to, to do yeah. what I do yes. and the way I believe things have to be done. Mm. So, and that's why I was able to work with artists that a lot of people, even in the industry, even somewhere, my colleagues, who said this is not going to work. Mm. All right? Mm. And because of my training from Triple Nine, when you have you know, from studio to the marketing as a speaker, so exactly. <laughs> you know, then I go this is a mm. You know, mm. I was able to do that, and hence, even when people didn't believe, whether it's WHP or TKZ, you know, I mean, Trump is this TKZ. Mm. You know, they have a song where TKZ when you figure out, in that album, yeah, 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 you know. 
I mean, <laughs> I was able then to, because it was, this is what I believe. Mm. And I'm going to go and I do it, it will happen. So what I'm saying is sometimes as an A&R, you find yourself in a situation where your colleagues, let's say people in the marketing division, mm. they don't believe or they don't see or hear what you are hearing and see. Mm. You know? So I'm now talking for other a because luckily I've never been in their position mm. where I have to play to uh, colleagues, you know? And they may like vote. Mm. Or what do we sign? <laughs> or we don't sign. You know? You know, for mm. me, I'd play manga uh, iswa, it's like fine. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm 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 going in. Yeah. yeah and luckily yeah. my bosses were supporting me mm. because of the fact mm. that yes, you must At give me the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how I think I was able again to to create what I've created in this country, you know, uh, where, uh, think about it, TKZ came in, they changed the industry, mm. you know, they crossed over, you know, at the time where black artists were not getting much out of 5FM, you know, they crossed over, mm. uh, you know, <laughs> uh -huh. but later, you know, they brought, almost allowed a platform for Abom rapper, Neza Sekasi, Kwaito to kind of mm. see that we can work together. Together. You know? Um, uh, WHP, like I said, if, if I didn't have that power, uh, you know, I mean, it took me three albums mm, I'm to, sure. to break WHP. Yeah, WHP is smiling on his grave now. You know? Whilst I'm talking yes. to you, you know. <laughs> yes. Java, <laughs> Java, you know. So, um, but there's other artists mm. as well. You know, like when you look at Toya Delezi, again, you know, she was on an, another level. Mm. Sound, mm. it was mm. not what everybody was signing or had signed, especially from a black artist. Yes. You know, we change did that, that. Yeah. changed the industry again, opened up the doors, you know. The whole Deb and Kwaito, you know, assigned DJ Bones mm. uh, when, you know, Deb and had a lot of artists, but the artists had to come to Joburg, mm. Bashale Josie, for them to make it. I changed that to Kalan yeah. Ekaslenu and be yourselves. Ninga Funugu Ba Bantase Josie, Nifunugenza Ekwaito, your language. Yeah. <laughs> you know, do your thing, mm. you know. But also, man, then when I'm a cheetah, a band was a figure, Montu Suga at Teben, Agana in Dao Kala, you know, Uzabanya went to Tobalale, a park station, you know, maybe Montu was a good age, Manga Tolu Lindelan, Manga Tolu Fusile, Manga Bamba Laoban to Labo. Life yam is a change, career, mm. you know. Then Utola Muntu, I got an appointment, I can understand. Yeah, Sometimes I work with office. Ish. So, Maras will figure to a at Teluvusi, two of us against Namtanges Pani. Now, Saga Nayabegas Chelan, Mam figure the road manning to Kan. Then you have somebody ending up. Alele Park Station, and for me it was like we need to change that. Mm. We need to open the country. You know, it, it, you can't be in a situation where, uh, I mean, when you look at American hip hop, East Coast and West Coast, mm. uh, you know, you can be in the West Coast and you'll have a career. You don't have to go to the East Coast mm. to have a career the same way. You know, so this is how it started. So from Bongs, with his success, um, I signed Zex Pantwini, I signed DJ Tweety. Actually, Zex Pantwini, which I, I signed Mayoni Records. Mm -hmm. And under Mayoni Records, then we had El Volvo, Bayang Suget. Mm -hmm. That's how we started, you know? Okay, yes. And a lot of things started blow, blowing up then. And Namachi Tasset Deben, didn't have to come to Josie, 
mabefunu kungena ku industry they will go to abobongs they will go to you know amachita who are already there you know um yeah but i mean uh, from that market people don't know that some people there's five, there's people like engo kuhlangana nabo but that's the first time sa sibona udira bekagini adlala ku birthday ye umntana ke you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah i mean look just uh, what people know there's more of the artists that have helped in the game right, yeah. who are not who are didn't sign yes. and i didn't have to say come sign under me or anything you know yeah. i mean dj kent no to me his partner okay. you know i've been part of their number one advisor from kent's first entry into mm. the, the industry you know mm. so so yeah but but basically uh, the a and r sometimes have a challenge you go to they believe in a product but they want to be marketing but i learned on egg spot true you know mm. like i say almost every product that i worked on people said it's not going to work mm. tkz I went to reliable because I was told you must do research. Na mm, mingaza mm, mm. <laughs> but okay, I think it be to reliable a schooled music. marketer. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay. A reliable because they were the biggest, mm, remember, you know, yeah. buyers of black music. Mm. I went there Bangchela remember before I joined TKZ they had done a first EP which flopped okay all right it had the song quality can okay all right um, and that's when usbu said at because i think even pmg said to them if you can find somebody mm. who, who, you know uh, then mm. you know but so when i went to reliable <laughs> uh, with palafala mm. just finished Okay. not finalized but just finished and i was going in to say what do you think i say who's this i said tkz I said, ah no that shit is not gonna work <laughs> actually come and take the cds at the back <laughs> take them yeah, yeah. yeah please come and take, take them, them. You know? <laughs> yeah so you can imagine when how I, when i walked oh. out of reliable oh. you know i mean this is the hey, biggest hey, hey. Uh, dealer Hey. you know and he's saying this is not gonna work <laughs> we pull off all, you know? so so hey. so i want to support hey. Hey. from the first person hey. also by so almost 90 percent of the country who mm. music work you know but i went back to the office and i won't lie to you i didn't tell them the truth mm. i said no they said they will hear when i come with the finished product <laughs> they are diseased <laughs> And but look, 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 what, look what Palafala did after oh, man. You know, I mean, the rest is history. And the you rest know, is history. Of Chibobo. Um, yeah, the rest is Halloween. You know, the oh. rest is history. So, so, so that's why I'm saying that if you are an NR that doesn't have power, mm. all right, then you'll miss on talent. Mm. You'll be frustrated, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, sometimes. I think there might have been one situation where there was an artist that people were not feeling and I said na yo ikhulumela kwenye record company. Uthi anizame anibancengini. Yathi nangu mut. Na yi artist, you know? Because sometimes I feel like probably uh, what what happens when you've got something that you believe in and people don't believe in it. It's a very difficult thing. You know, yeah. And some of the guys today they then they quit mm. you know you um, are that the artist mm. at i see strategy so some of the independent record labels uh, were started mm. in that way okay. you know we ignore the artist marlai spanim uh by feet mm. mara when i feel mara when i feel yeah yeah it happened yeah. <laughs> in so many things <laughs> like in life in your blow up <laughs> and, yeah, and we, that's we, why i think people those lessons are Sometimes rejection mm. doesn't mean that you are you, you are not talented That's true. or you are useless no. in any situation. Yeah, you if you so pega ilona, ugutu abantu ba 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 ingenda ba yake that time, 
you know, magnet letter, mm -hmm. and then Mr. Uh, Sosa Ruta shooting a pet, Mr. Ayek, Ila Poloza, everything. Because, exactly. I mean, uh, sometimes Nuguba or which is Katas Gaga be right, you know, exactly. Because if something is meant for you, you know, uh, I remember I was talking to Padu Kada, was mentioning Kakulu that thing, but if something is meant for you, no one can take no, it out. No one. You know? No one. Let us and yak. But we still continue Mavusana, talking about your history. In fact, your story is the one that also needs to be told because when you're talking about you, we're talking about the rich history of our South African music and to be precisely Kakulugaz Ikwaito. You know, I know Gutu Afro, you also involved Mabundando, but Kakulugaz Ikwaito. There was a guy who visited our studio here that is. Usbuma lawyer. We spoke um, about um, his uh, music and uh, his involvement in the So he mentioned you, no Lance. But um, eventually, after that interview, you guys were throwing stones at each other. We're not that type of a podcast where we're actually talking about um, No, we are a very positive uh, family podcast, but we just need people to know what happens or what happened at that time. So, if my lawyers is really, people need to hear your own version. It's not necessarily what you are. By this, I'm not a right of reply. No, no. It's documenting history. Yeah, you're just saying. It's documenting history. Yeah, you document. Documenting history, yeah. the way it's supposed yeah, to be because documented. Because if it's not documented <laughs> properly, it's the it's the waste. Yeah. You know, sugushu to tell a youth a man. Yeah. So say we are the so youth. In fact, uh, happy fellows, stay tuned where you are. We're coming back after the break. We're coming back and talk to Ufusi. Also, everything about I'm a musician, our help healer, and I'm a releases and I'm a hits. Uh, as well, sat my chats on every day. <laughs> The buzz, 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 buzz of the city is what, what inspires the heart. Salalumpa, la 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 la. Oh yeah, yeah. Happy days, podcast. Mount Petitino's over much. not necessarily you and then you called me at night you called him he called me yeah, we sent me messages it was a back back and forth messages of whatsapp you him showing me your messages you showing me good we are complaining and i was good i shall interview the woman to a musician or 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 veteran the country where we are sugar why are you missing this name so can you just tell us exactly the straight um or the exact situation about ETKZ and you being yeah. involved sure yeah. so like i think i said earlier um for me to work with tkz they were introduced to me by Usbu Maloy. All right. Uh, Usbu Kulana Yemfulo. I actually co wrote Amaloya and Puma Gimi, mm. which yes. were his soul, uh, debut songs with, with him. All right. So, so for me to work with TKZ, it was because of Usbu. And that's how I also left Triple Nine. Because um, he out here, me, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. and you know, yeah. uh, Bafunang Bangnet. Because I always say, Usbu is the fourth member of TKZ. You know, 
he wrote and inspired a number of songs, yes. like Abumambochi and others, yes. you know, uh, for Amachika. So now one of the biggest challenges is, um, yes, I had a colleague, White, oh sorry, <laughs> oh, oh, oh Lance, oh, Lance. Lance. Yeah, McCormack. Okay. All right. Ingam labegu kolegiam. All right. But you know, number one, I said TKZ had an EP called Twalikan. Okay. That flopped mm. the first time. Mm. I was not there. Okay. All right. Lance was there. All right. Uh, we, I come in. I. Amachita, you want We go into studio. We are starting a, a, a new EP, mm. all right, for TKZ, okay. which resulted into Palafal, mm. all right, and the songs that were on that EP. I'm A and R mm. of that. When we finish, like I said, I do all these roles, mm. all right. It's a simple question that says. When TKZ was a stratin, he pushed. Mm. Omo la begada. Ngabang sunga mla ya. Manamakanjo pants. Isene mia mia. Yeah. Oya zi music isamba pants. I know begandjo pants. Singena. Minungene na. Singena bo di sofa ngungena gupi. Yeah. Etebe ni yonkinda o o o se stratin oya pusha. Yeah. Ulanda machita ma DJ. Ulanda machita oya zi o chosi FM. People pinches army, please push. YFM, please push. A yipping gamla being a guy's and up and shop. Also, I complain of Uti, who promote Uti, who lands, who spumano, who promote Uti, who lands, or go or push a TKZ, And he didn't even mention my name, actually, in the interview. No, he All right? And for me, it's like, um, you know what? You know I me. Mean, I've always been an underground person. Mm. I've never been a bad fan, mm. all right. But don't mess up with my work. The fact that I'm not on each music video, yeah. jumping like Puff Daddy or whatever, <laughs> you know, no. it doesn't mean promoter. that. Yeah, I respect <laughs> the space. <laughs> but this is the artist mind. space. Yeah. You understand? You're hearing for the first time, yeah. probably with a lot of people, that I co-wrote. I'm a lawyer. Mm. You know. And Puma Gimi for nice. Spoo. Yeah. You understand? For so I've, I've, Chini, never made, I've, I've never made noise. Mm. So, but you cannot say Ingamla was behind what TKZ became. But I, I remember you saying my brother, that I what, what I went yeah. through, like what we go through mm. promoting music, is beyond even what the company gives give us mm. from a budgetary point. You understand? It's beyond the name Sony or BMG or Universal. Mm. Those are companies. They are not the people. Mm. When I come to you, it's relations. Mongens are like a favor on support. But to my lawyer, it's not because some of us are not were purely just forgot within the internet. No, I think I think I think I think we can forget. Certain things, <laughs> but not certain. There's things. certain facts that you can't yeah. in history and mm. in your life. Never, you can never forget. I can never forget Ogutus Bu, for you example, can't, you can't songs like Abo Mamboji, oh. you know, the TKZ. You know, he was probably the key man. Mm. You understand? Mm. In the in the starting, like even that gimmick, Mamboji. You know. Mm. And others in TKZ. You can't mention other prisoners within Air Roman Island without mentioning Mandel. It's like, okay. <laughs> or, oh, oh, uh, 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 not mentioning uh, Robert Sobukwe or Tate uh, Jeff. But uh, then again. You know, from the PAC. But then I mean, again. Uh, it's intentionally erasing history, mm. which is oh, yeah, very yeah, crucial. Yeah. I mean, if yeah, you have. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, that uh, Jeff, uh, who stayed for 27 years inside Robben Island, mm. not outside, inside, and then you decide not to mention not to that mention. person. What are you saying? 
Yeah. You're not documenting history properly. You're not documenting history. And, and, and we cannot say all is honky dory. Mm, yeah. mm, we mm. must correct it. We must correct it. Yeah. Lance was my colleague. We did certain things together, you know, as a team. All right. But when it comes to who broke TKZ, yeah. it becomes that thing that says, then he would have broken the first EP. They didn't have to call me. <laughs> I didn't have to leave Triple Nine. Mm. I could have gone to EMI. Yeah. But maybe just to be on the safe side uh, when I, whenever for some yes. uh, because other people didn't watch this um, uh, podcast, the episode of uh, the Amaloya podcast, whilst he was mentioning all that. Sure. Maybe let's just play that clip right now, no, where fine. he was mentioning, <laughs> and then we'll come back and say, uh, did he mention really, or, or just to no? But also, did it put it correct? Yeah, but let's hear. Yeah. Nice. Here is my lawyer That's for it. you guys. Happy uh, days. Happy, happy fellows. I uh, hear again. <laughs> yeah, here again. <laughs> There was a guy called Lance McCormack who was believing so much in TKZ. Lance, yeah. So Lance said, no guys, I don't need something. I need something in Nizi. I figured out how to die. Now I'm going to call him. I realized that I'm going to look for one more voice. The clever part that Dukulo came up yeah. with, the PR, the PR of the song. Because remember, Wuti, that time, I was going to go to the army. I was going to Now for them, all right, we back. I'm sure you must have heard. Yeah. Um, it's for you, um, happy followers to conclude. I'll hear it from your comment, down comment. Just comment down below and tell us how do you feel. In fact, this whole comment, it should be about because you remember guys you to more look, 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 we're still brothers. Look, we're still brothers, you know, but mm. uh, like I say, in every artist that I worked on, I went far beyond yeah. what the record company was doing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, when I took TKZ, I somewhere, for example, I went to Lady Smith. You know, my late there's a late uncle of mine who Malim Tan that ah, he was a teacher. All right. We got to do a promo yeah. and Lady Smith takes yeah. the rank. Yeah. All right. I had to get somebody from Lady Smith. Hey. You understand? As he can hey, hey, hey. And somebody also so Kulumi Zulu. Yeah. As he proper. Ish. All right. I had to get people like that. I had to get some of my friends who later became Abu Bra. Mm. Bamachita. Because of that. You understand? Yeah, that experience. Uh, oh, Nabo Sbu Bonke. Mm. Uh, I mean, guys like Abu, my friends of mine, like Abu Pega, Abu Prince, those people were my friends. Mm. But when we go to Deben, you know, we would get them. They would, they would come around with us. So, in the way, some years go to Namakasi, only go get no harm in a band back on. You understand? Uh, yeah. So we will go with people who would support us. Hey, Baba. Then we credit somebody who was sitting at the office. Mm. Ah, let, let's be <laughs> fair, especially to each other as black people. Mm. You understand? Me and Spoo, like I say, we family. You know, but we must correct each other. I will never give credit to someone else who didn't do anything mm. and either water down your your contribution mm. or even not you Say know anything. or give uh, or mention somebody who had nothing to do mm. i mean i've been in situations where people who didn't believe in man in my me starting mendoza mm. when mendoza was going overseas they were the ones who went overseas with mendoza mm. Subscribe and become a member of the Beakers family, the Happy Days on Podcast family.